Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Gettysburg. This is the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back. And this is, of course, uh, part three. So, of my Gettysburg, of my Gettysburg Confederate campaign. That is, he said very adroitly. So let's uh, let's see what else I can do here. Okay, we're gonna put you up here. We're gonna take that and hold that. Um, boy, scales is okay. Lake, eh, lake's still pretty weak. So scales. <clears throat> I think. Uh, I think I'm going to leave those guys where they are. It's a risk to leave my artillery up here. As you can see, I've already lost one, but he ought to be able to f provide some direct fire to either one of these guys. So let's see. We've got three left. One, two, three. Yeah. Um, i tell you what. Let's pull him over here. Little flank protection. Not that we need it but also might threaten these things, which actually might not be a bad idea to go get. So we're going to pull him up over here and see how that one works out. And with that, we'll commit. Okay, Union 3rd Corps just coming in. You'll notice the Union troops are still pouring in, which is a part of my... Uh, dilemma that I face as the uh, Confederate commander, I only have to hold two victory hexes and make sure my casualties are less than Union casualties. Well, I've got more than two right now, so the question is, do I stay on the offensive or do I go to the defense and let him come to me? That's the question. See, they're grabbing the rest of those things out on uh, Cemetery Ridge. Very smart of them. Kind of expected that. That's good. If I can just sort of keep them doing that while I focus on the rest here that I'm holding, that just might be the ticket. Ah, here we go. Okay, so. Boy, this road is crowded. I wish the guys in front had gotten called up first. But so there you go. That's the nature of this game. You just never know who's going to move. And so you just have to be prepared for it. Let's see. Yeah, let's put you there. And the pokey artillery will come up here. There we go. Okay, yes. Uh, blah, let's see. Wow, he's not in very good shape. You, I think... Actually, I think I'll put you... I ought to be able to support your fellow Davis here who's in your core and this guy. Um, you know what? Let's if I can sort of freak the AI out into thinking that... Uh, uh, USA Combat. Here we go, boys and girls. Yeah. it. Make work for you. Make it work. Okay, I was going to say, that's it? Wow. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, but wait, where are these guys? Yeah, down here. That's what I thought. And there they come. Now, see, that's really annoying. Why would you do that? When you know that I have to go all the way down here. And there I am, and here I am. Now, for the next ones. Um, I think they're probably in pretty good shape the, where they are, aren't they? Um... Let's go ahead and move this one over a little bit. See what we can do here. That's it. And there's Okay. Where is he? Ah. Here we go. Leading the way with the veterans. 
I'm still thinking that I want to be more defensive than offensive. Because the only reason that the last game was a tie was because the uh, AI Confederates just kept pushing and I just kept stomping on them. But, I mean, they held more than enough victory points. So I think uh, that's probably the best solution. Not that I, I don't think Robbie Lee would have settled for that, but... He's not here, and I am, so <laughs> don't blame me. What's the what's that old dumb saying? Don't hate the player, hate the game, or something like that. Okay. Here we go. Now they're coming out. Extending their flank. So maybe my little maneuver there is working. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Seriously now. That's really weird. That's really weird, man. I mean, really weird. <laughs> Just in case I haven't been clear enough on this. Um, okay, well then in that case, put you there, I'm going to put you there. And we're going to put you up here, which should give a lot of protection here to Culp's Hill. Uh, let's just see the three I've got left. One, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Okay. Okay, early. What have we got here? Um, you're at f oh, two out of six. Wow, you're not anywhere near where I want you to be. Neither are you. You're in good shape, but I can probably just leave you the way you the way, and the where you are. So, <laughs> okay, what am I missing here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm not missing anything. There we go. And the Worthless Cavalry for the Union. What, it's my worthless cavalry I'm moving? No. What? What? The genius and leadership of the General Robert E. Lee and the bravery and fighting ability of the men under his command has led to a great victory at the town of Gettysburg. A new high watermark of the Confederacy has been reached, and the tide is still coming in. CSA victory. Conquer two objective hexes. Currently hold six. USA victory. Have more VPs than the CSA. Currently 94 USA and 81 CSA. Well, guys, I am totally flabbergasted. I had forgotten that they that they check. I think I, on turn eleven and maybe some a couple other turns. Wow, man. <laughs> well, um, gee, this is a short video for you, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm happy that I'm actually have won something early, overwhelming with my genius and the fact that I played it on the lowest setting the AI has. I think, if I remember right. Uh, so, <laughs> can I check on that? Uh, I don't know. Because I don't think... Yeah, I, I don't have, I don't have uh, access to that. But I'm pretty sure I did. I know it wasn't on one of the higher settings. So there you go. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Um, now, because I was expecting this to go on for another, you know, six or eight videos at least... So, uh, hey, if, do you want to see more on this? Would you like to, me to give it a try on the higher AI and see what happens? Um, let me know, and uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll try and figure out what I want to do. So, hey, uh, for those of you out there that are a little pressed for time, this is my gift to you. This is the Wargaming Guy saying thanks for watching, and uh, take care, everybody, and I will see you later. Hey everyone, this is the, the Wargaming Guy, Louie, back with you for a second. I thought a lot about this afterwards, and, uh, you know, I had a feeling with this game that it was unbalanced towards the Confederates in my early plays as the Union anyway. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and do another Confederate campaign, but this time I'm going to up the AI and see if that helps the Union. Um, because given the number of units the Union has, 
it shouldn't need the help, but but I really feel like that the uh, that the Confederates have an unfair advantage here. It seems like it. So in a week or two or whenever I get started on this, we'll try it again from the Confederate side, this time facing a tougher AI opponent, and I'll probably get my butt kicked. But uh, we'll see. So <laughs> those of you that enjoy the series, stay tuned. More to come.